yeah good evening students after lying back i came back uh, for the classes so today is something special some special occasion is there that is for muslims so first i will say eid mubarak uh, wish you happy bakri to all so why did i say this uh, wishes to muslim brothers and sisters what is the reason here so school uh, is uh, one of the holy place for all so that's what i said to them so in all uh, festivals we will wish to all the students all the teachers and all the colleagues so that's what i said to you okay we come to the main uh, concept here you know me very well this is ramesh babu biology teacher so previous i taught uh, 8th 9th 10th biology 7th science so the same thing this academic year also i am going to give uh, the same syllabus so last year 1920 academic year completed now we are entering into 2021 academic year so first chapter in biology we are going to discuss today itself today we are going to start before going to start i am going to explain academic standards so these are essential for all the students if you know very well about these academic standards then we can understand easily our concepts so based on that we can make some questions ourselves make some questions and we can hypothesize means we can analyze the topic so that's what first i would like to uh, explain about to academic standards so most of the students they know academic standards but they won't follow if you follow academic standards you can write each and every question in all subjects not only biology in all subjects you are able to write all answers if you know very well about the academic standards so i am going to explain one by one um, one by one uh, display here it will come once you see one after one i will give that one by one the first academic standard conceptual understanding what is that conceptual understanding so conceptual understanding means direct question will be there whatever the topic you learnt based on that topic you will get the question so after completion of one topic i will explain all these academic standards one second in that topic so direct questions example what is your name what is biology you are able to understand directly that question that is conceptual understanding based on the concept whatever completed upon that you will get some questions direct questions you are able to understand that is directly uh, everybody can understand the second question whatever it is asking question and making hypothesis asking questions and making hypothesis. so here asking question some questions will ask you and you can hypothesize based on that so uh, direct question whatever concept or understanding question is there so here that indirectly we can discuss what is indirectly who is your biology teacher or who is your principal this is direct question you are reading in some school in that school who is the principal so without asking direct school name indirectly another question is 
giving like that indirectly so then we will think about that we will analyze and we will give the answer so that also i will give some questions example questions in that concept and the third concept third academic standard experimentation and field investigation so we want to conduct some experiments we want to conduct some experiments then we will go to the field and we will do that we may go or we may do that experiments in our laboratory itself in our lab itself so we will know what is that experiment by doing that what will we get the result so why we have to do that what things we need to do that how the procedure is there everything we can learn in that uh, experiments and field investigation so we may go to the field also sometime from the field we will learn from that field we will do the some activities in laboratory we can do otherwise we have to go there and we will do that so that is third academic standard the fourth academic standard information skill and projects information skill and projects so here this third fourth including fifth all are related to very near but uh, these are somewhat uh, what is the second what is the third one experiments and field investigation what is the third one third one given information skill and projects we went to the field and we collected some information from that based on that we will do some projects so for example we go and collect different types of soils from the different places we go to the field we can collect the soil we keep together and we will do experiments on that color properties of soil we will find by doing the activity so this is so that's what information we will gather from that and we will do project so what information so certain area we will get a certain type of soil after conducting the experiments after conducting the projects so first we will do projects sometimes we will do experiments but we will get the information after conducting that project or after conducting that experiment we will get the information so information and the projects also we will get from that fourth academic standard next fifth one we are going to discuss communication through modal drawings communication through modal okay and uh, drawings also we can models and drawings also what uh, for example if i show any one of the object you, will you find out the object name or not most of the students if they know they will find out if they saw earlier they will find how do they know already they know that so we can uh, express if those who don't know also we will give information so for example mobile phone will be like that will be like this so by giving some models we can we can show that object or thing or whatever it is communication we communicate it is like this it is like that so we can show some models and we will give information to the students by using that drawings or models in our biology specimens are there slides are there some of the diagrams we are going to show mitochondria like this cell like this leaf like this root system like this like that we will give the information to the students with the diagrams or with the models slides or specimens that is a model made next sixth one appreciation and aesthetic sense values so this is very very important thing you want to remember appreciation aesthetic sense and values what we want to appreciate we have five natural resources mainly water air fire 
sunlight, earth. These are the five natural resources. In our Telugu, we call it Panchabhuta. So, these are the natural resources. It is, everybody can use. So, we should have some values on that. We should have some moral ethics on that. We have to use it in proper way. We have to give to the next generations also. We should not spoil that. We should appreciate the soil because we will get food from the soil. So we have to appreciate the soil, natural resources. Then we want to save them, aesthetic wells. So aesthetic wells means we should have some moral ethics to save the natural resources. Not only natural resources, these I am giving as example. Whatever the things which are we are using, we use it in proper way and we save it, we should give to the next generations. So that is a concept. So that's what uh, appreciation and the aesthetic values. Okay. Aesthetic sense and values also. The sixth academic standard. The last one. Application to daily life. Concern to biodiversity. Application. We have to use them. We have to use them. And the last word, whatever is there, concern to biodiversity. Concern to biodiversity. So, whatever the sixth we discuss, we can use them. We can save them. Use it, save. We should not destroy because that we didn't make in our nature, that's what we should not spoil. How did we get from the nature? As it is, we live there, that again the next generations also use. And they also, they live there itself and they can provide to the next generation. So like this, seven academic standards are there in our textbook. One by one, here, while I am teaching, you may see that uh, seven academic standards. That academic standards we will use in our lessons, one by one. Every time I will recall one by one topic based on that uh, academic standards. Okay, now let us go for the next session. That next session is the first lesson in biology.